Hi there, Sandra here. Welcome back to Stubbs Aquatics. If this is your first time, thanks for checking us out. Here at Stubbs Aquatics, we have several large garden ponds full of koi and dedicated Shabumkin goldfish ponds. We also raise and breed all kinds of barbs and other synchronids, being that Stubb is really hung up on them. We only do profile videos on the fish that we actually keep. That way you get our first-hand experience and knowledge. In this video, we're going to talk about the red gara rufa, but you probably know this fish as doctor fish or the nibble fish or the pedicure fish. The red gara is a species of cymprinid that is native to a wide range of freshwater habitats in subtropical parts of Western Asia. This medium large size aquarium fish typically grows up to 14 centimeters in total length but can reach as much as 24 centimeters. Dr. Fish is popular in more than just the aquarium hobby. It is famous for its ability to graze on dead skin cells on humans, so it is used in many clinics that treat psoriasis and other human skin problems. In these clinics, patients dip their feet into the water and the Dr. Fish swarm to graze on the patient's dead skin, but we will get into more about that later in the profile. In the aquarium, this fish is an interesting scavenger and grazer that is compatible with a variety of tank mates. Habitat. A member of the Cimprinae family, the red gara inhabits the cooler freshwater areas of the Mediterranean and Middle East. It prefers very oxygen rich, fast flowing water and will often swim directly against the current from a power filter or wave maker. Description. This fish has an elongated torpedo shaped body, a rather flat belly and a rounded head. They're usually grayish brown. Their fins are usually transparent with a hint of yellow or orange. Temperature and water parameters. This is a cool water species and prefers cooler temperatures. This fish does not require a heater. The temperature range is 14 to 24 Celsius or approximately 57 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Other water parameters are pH 6.0 to 8.0 and KH 6 to 10. Diet. This fish is a true omnivore that has special food requirements which include biofilm. It is important that red gara get a good variety of meaty foods, brine shrimp, flakes, algae wafers, vegetables, and even fruit. They benefit from a tank where a biofilm that forms on driftwood, rocks, and plants. Biofilm is thin, slimy film of bacteria that adheres to a surface. Aggression. Red gara is peaceful towards other fish but a little territorial with its own kind and similar looking species. In the wild, it has been observed moving around in loose groups, so it is best kept with five or more in the aquarium. We use lots of sticks and driftwood to keep them happy and stimulated. It is also recommended that they not be kept with long fin species. We have had no issues keeping with long fin danios and with high fin barbs. They are an aggressive eater. Lifespan. These fish generally live to be about six to seven years with a maximum of 10. Sexing and breeding. From what we know about sexing, these fish are basically unknown unless they are actively breeding. To breed these fish, you will need to raise the temperature after a large water change and provide them some fine leafed plants and smooth rocks to lay their eggs on. They are egg scatterers and do not provide parental care. In fact, they will eat their own eggs. Tank requirements. To have a happy, healthy red gara, you need to incorporate their diet into your tank setup. Very fast water flow is key to success in keeping this fish. Another key to success is a secure lid or canopy on the aquarium, as the fish are skilled jumpers and climbers. We found this out the hard way, losing a few of them. One of our tanks is still not covered. 
We think it's only when you first move these fish into a new environment that extra care must be given into having a secure lid. Once your red gara have become accustomed to your tank, they will probably not jump or crawl out. You can see we have a very strong current in this tank, which these guys just love. That tank is not covered and we haven't lost a fish out of this one. The tank we lost two fish out of is covered, but there is an opening for the filter. That tank does not have as strong of a water current as the others. The doctor fish will graze on biofilm that grows on driftwood, rocks, and plants. So it, it is an excellent inhabitant for well-lit planted aquariums. We recommend this fish for the intermediate or experienced fish keeper given the special needs of the fish. Tank size. At the very minimum, a 30 gallon tank as these fish grow to almost six inches or 14 centimeters on average. And it is recommended that you keep five. Tank mates. This is a great community tank fish. It will travel in all areas of the tank from low to high. It is an extremely active fish. This may spook a timid, slow moving fish. The morality of using these fish for pedicures. Is it safe or humane to use fish to clean your feet? We had to research this. This fish requires clean, well oxygenated water, which cannot be found in a tub with your needy feet in them. I personally have seen this at a spa in Greece and in the Vaughan area. I am sure the fish don't want to eat your dead skin. They do it because they're severely starved so that they'll try to eat human skin for sustenance. When pedicure tubs are full of fish, they can't be sufficiently disinfected between customers and there's no way to sanitize the animals themselves. Sufferers of contagious conditions such as nail fungus and athlete's foot often seek out fish pedicures. Fish pedicure tubs provide a fertile breeding ground for bacteria and even tiny cuts or sores can become infected when immersed in them. Plus, how many fish get stepped on? The Gararufa fish themselves have been found to carry strains of several infection-causing bacteria, including Streptococcus. Don't forget, these fish feed on biofilm and bacteria. I get why they use leeches, but to us, this just seems wrong. What are your thoughts? So if you want a pedicure or the spa treatment, just do what I do. Catch your significant other washing its filters in your dishwasher or your washing machine. Right, Stub? Oh, that feels great. Thanks, honey. Okay, now the other foot. And can you put cream on my feet too? Yes, dear. I'm sorry for using that stuff. <laughs> See, ladies? <laughs> I can't stop laughing. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe button. And check out our other fish profiles as well. And maybe you should check with your significant other to see if they would like to do a pedicure for you.